all right so we just finished the story well goku's story which is the main story of dragon ball sparking zero while i was playing some of the people in my chat was telling me about uh certain scenes that happen in the manga this and that so i thought it'd be a good idea to watch how strong is manga goku because this this is way different than obviously what we saw in the show and obviously the game too so yeah man let's check it out let's see what we got going on bro let's see how truly powerful he is Manga Goku In Dragon Ball Super, there are many differences between the anime and the manga, but one thing that they have in common That's is right. that Goku's strength is ridiculous. At the start of the Dragon Ball Super manga, Goku is the strongest fighter on Earth after defeating the personification of evil Majin Buu. Goku continues to get stronger oh, as he uses okay. visual image training to fight his greatest foes. Defeating the Emperor of the Universe, Frieza, who has stated multiple times to be able to destroy the entire universe. Defeating the embodiment of perfection, Cell, who has stated to be able to destroy the entire solar system. With solar systems and Dragon Ball being stated to be a galactic nebula with nebula wait hold on i did not know that about cell i thought when he was gonna blow up i thought he was gonna blow up the planet hold on hold on the universe the endless expansive space wrapped around every celestial body that exists in the living world along with the demon realm it is a single large world and living world in the world of dragon ball the universe is located beneath the world beyond what and it is hermetically sealed by a barrier that that is engraved with a strange design oh we've seen them when zeno when i remember i remember in the show they were they were showing like all the universes within the universe there is a nebula composed of innumerable stars and there are galaxies composed of innumerable nebulae what there is a ruling kami for each galaxy earth resides in the solar system a galactic nebula on the outskirts of the north galaxy so cell himself can blow that up that's why his Kamehameha is called Solar System Kamehameha. Wait, this is actually... See, I like this type of stuff, bro. It'd be a galactic nebula with nebula being composed of innumerable stars. Goku even fights against Buu himself, who was stated in the Buu Saga to be able to destroy the entire universe. In a Yo, bro, Buu can destroy the entire universe, but not only that, this guy is a complete menace. He blew up, literally killed millions, went to heaven, boxed everybody and almost actually won for real yo what is good with him he even fights against boo himself who was stated in the boo saga to be able to destroy the entire True universe menace. in a poof and goku was able to do all of this using his super saiyan form alone but among the stars an even greater power has awoken after 39 years Ooh. beerus the destroyer is traveling throughout the universe in search of his greatest rival a saiyan enveloped in divine energy yep. a super saiyan god, god. beerus <laughs> learns of the existence of son goku and travels to king kai's planet to confront him with Goku also learning of the existence of the God of Destruction and wants to test his power against the God. Goku and Beerus are now face to face and now it's time to see who's the strongest. The hope of the universe versus the universe's destroyer. Sheesh! Yo, his one-liners, bro. The hope of the universe versus the universe's destroyer. The hope of the universe versus the universe's destroyer. Goku uses Bars. Super Saiyan 3 and gets completely destroyed in only two blows, with Goku knowing that the only way to win is to find this Super Saiyan God. Shenron tells the Z Fighters that the original Super Saiyan God performed a ritual to achieve his power. Five pure-hearted Saiyans must infuse their light into a sixth. All of the Saiyans put their power into Son Goku, and after thousands of years, the Super Saiyan God is born once again. Goku and Beerus have their battle of the gods with their fight going- Oh, battle of the gods. This was the movie, right? And then, oh, so there was three chat. There was the, the Broly one, the battle of the gods, and then resurrection of Frieza. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because see, when we played the game, it made it seem that battle of the gods and the Frieza, the resurrection one was like together. So that's why I got it confused. Okay higher and higher but the clashing of two gods fists is the end of us all old kai a being that resides in the kaioshin realm that exists outside of the macrocosm states that their clashes will destroy the entirety of universe 7 huh? with the universe 7 wait hold on hold on let me go back what did i just miss odds with their fight going higher and higher but the clashing of two gods fists is the end of us all. Oh. Old Kai, a being that resides in the Kaioshin realm that exists outside of the macrocosm, states that their clashes will destroy the entirety of Universe 7. Mm. With the Universe 7 macrocosm being comprised of seven different space-times, 
Okay, yeah, this is what we read. That's the nebula, right? The thing around it. That's the Earth, the universe, the cosmos. The hell being under it. Okay, yeah. All right, makes sense. And was stated multiple times that each realm was infinite in size, with the afterlife itself being stated in the Dai Zenshu 4 World Guide to be a transcendental realm beyond the infinity of the living universe, and was stated to be beyond the concepts of space and time multiple times. Jesus! Goku loses the god form, but contrary to common belief, the power did not leave him, but instead infused itself into Goku's base form. As it was stated in the Dragon Ball Super anime comic, which is canon to the manga that Super Saiyan Blue is unlocked when a Saiyan with the power of a god goes Super Saiyan. And Oof. even in the moro arc of the Dragon Ball Super manga, Dende says he couldn't restore base Goku's power because his energy was divine. Goku trained. Wait, his energy is divine so he can't even restore it? No, that makes him actually way too strong, bro. So then every time he powers up now, he's powering up technically like divine energy on top of oh he's too strong bro he couldn't restore base goku's power because his energy was divine goku trains with the angel Whis and unlocks super saiyan god super saiyan super saiyan with blue hair dye super saiyan blue goku meets the brother of beerus champa the destroyer of the six universe Chompa. in this battle with beerus was stated that they could destroy the entire universe as well goku ends up fighting against universe six's strongest warriors and is now face to face with the universe six assassin hit who has the ability to time skip one time of a skip. second into the future literally arriving before he left unlike the anime where goku uses kaioken and is able to force himself through hit's time skip manga goku is able to beat hit using super saiyan god alone as we explains Whoa, that he's a that's a big difference uh broly's stronger than goku oh no we oh we've seen broly he is the legendary super saiyan but anyways that's a big difference though because if in the manga he's able to beat him just on super saiyan god but in the show they make hit even stronger i guess or i guess they do that to find a way to beat his time skip but he has to be super saiyan god super saiyan on top of ko can types 20 ability only works on opponents who are near or below his level hold on as we explain it manga goku is able to beat hit using super saiyan god alone as we explains that his ability only works on opponents who are near or below his level and explains why he was able to beat vegeta as vegeta wasn't even using 10 percent of blue strength due to the energy output oh. goku ends up fighting against few zamasu which is the combination of the immortal supreme kai zamasu and the saiyan copycat goku black goku in this fight is able to perfect super saiyan blue and matches the power of a fusion Sheesh. but that's when goku pulls out a technique that nobody saw coming as he jumps into the air he puts his hand in zamasu's face hoping that this technique will allow him to kill immortal beings a familiar energy surrounds goku the energy of a destroyer oh. hakai goku is able to what? utilize the energy of no 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 chat please tell me this is a manga only thing because this is actually news to me and i watched the anime we just beat the game and this was not explained yes goku used hakai manga only oh my wait that's actually fire bro why nobody tell me this yeah manga goku's insane bro i thought okay so but me this what the heck is ego vegeta he uses the energy of a god of destruction to unlock ego vegeta or did i get that wrong i don't know i thought he was the one that used hakai or whatever and, and like had that type of aura because it was purple Yo, i'm scratching my head man that's vegeta's transformation in the newest arc but is that is that destruction level or no yeah it is the destroyer oh yo wait hold on bro chat i think i'm hard again i'm sorry allow him to kill immortal beings a familiar energy surrounds goku the energy of a destroyer that's so common goku is able to utilize the energy of destruction with this energy being so potent that it erases you as if you never existed zamasu has had enough and states that he's going to destroy every parallel world in existence that includes every single timeline to fulfill his zero mortal plan with his demise only being met by the hands of the omni king himself goku arrives at the tournament of power and is face to face with jiren the gray a fighter from the 11th universe so far who stated to be stronger than his own god of destruction with the gods of destruction oh, themselves don't make him the god of destruction he's got a destruction he's a clown a literal clown have y'all seen the top of his head boy he's bald right here and as you're coming out the side bro he's the clown that's in joker 2 
because you know the that movie's not who is stated to be stronger than his own god of destruction what's up Astro? the gods of destruction themselves being stated to have power that transcends dimensions Damn. in this fight goku is getting completely overwhelmed by this embodiment of strength and that's when he taps into something well faster than anyone can see goku gets behind jiren and an angelic he glow the job. his body. Oh. Goku is able to achieve the technique of the angels, the form the gods themselves cannot reach. What? We got to know Goku, autonomous ultra instinct. Goku. Wait, the form that gods can't reach? Oh, so so that's why Beerus kept uh talking about it. He kept repeating autonomous ultra instinct, autonomous ultra instinct in my ear while I'm trying to fight fight Jiren I didn't know that yeah so after the tournament of power I'm not too familiar with what happens next especially in the manga but I have like seen you know um a couple panels and seen people talking about it but anyways I know Wiss is still faster does he also use ultra instinct like is that what Wiss just regularly has or he's just too strong bro Wiss basically just ha has UI at all times fire hey shout out shout out Wiss only angels can reach it oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what he just said that's what you just said. Goku reached the power of the angels. Yeah, 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 okay. That makes sense. The technique of the angels. Yeah. The form the gods themselves cannot reach. Me got to know Goku. Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Fire. Goku is able to fight against Jiren and his Ultra Instinct is progressing, getting stronger and stronger to the point where he crosses the door into mastery. Jiren attacks Goku, but that's just what he needed as everyone in the entire stage is shocked as Goku has his fist in Jiren's stomach. At age 780 of the universe calendar, on this day, a mortal named Son Goku achieved mastered Ultra Instinct. Fire. Goku Ooh. Bars. A mortal reached master Ultra Instinct. Damn, this is giving, obviously, Son Wukong vibes. Duh. But um, I was gonna say something else. No, I was gonna ask something else. Oh my God. I've been attaining too much information, bro, that I actually forgot. Never mind. I'll shut up. Son Goku achieved mastered ultra instinct. Goku in the state of Oh yes! Thank you, Clips. You reminded me. In only 48 minutes. Yes. So again, in the show, this thing lasted like a hundred episodes or something like that. But it it was all uh it was only 48 minutes. Boom. So I wonder how like I wonder if anybody explained it or anything. How much would have it actually taken an angel or whatever or somebody to achieve that? Because he achieved it in in so little time because he did three battles he did the one with jiren at first and it wasn't really mastered then he did the one with kefla and then he did jiren again so three battles in he already mastered it bro that's crazy Master is able to completely body jiren with jiren breaking through his limits and now they're fighting for the fates of both of their universes the silver glow leaves his eyes and universe 7 wins the tournament of power it's not yet perfected. Goku, after the tournament of power, fights against the legendary Super Saiyan Broly and trains to the point where Wee says that nobody in the universe is stronger than Goku and Vegeta. However, a being who's been in prison for 10 million years has escaped. Moro wait. the plan. Wait, 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 wait. Run that me. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I'm about to learn right now. Wait, what? Duh. What I'm about to hear right now, I'm gonna learn. Cause this is where I stopped. However, a being who's been in prison for 10 million years has escaped. 10 M. Moro the planet eater is traveling throughout the universe, eating planets, becoming stronger and stronger. Oh. Goku ends up training with another angel, Whis's brother Miris, who's been undercover as a galactic patrol member and helps Goku master his ultra instinct. Oh. Goku has become so powerful after his training with Miris that when he arrives on the battlefield, he's so fast that not even Gohan and Piccolo can keep up with his movements in base form as they were able to keep up with master ultra instinct goku's movements in the tournament goku is able to <gasps> they can't keep up with his base form chat no that's it goku's in goku is an angel right he has ui mastered ui so he's 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 angel call him angel song Goku rides on the battlefield. He's so fast that not even Gohan and Piccolo can keep up with his movements in base form as they were able to keep up with Master Jeez. Ultra Instinct Goku's movements in the tournament. Goku is able to utilize Ultra Instinct Omen and fights against an even younger and more powerful Moro who is absorbed and eaten countless planets. However, it's still not enough as Goku's defensive abilities completely outmatch his offensive side. Moro eats 7-3 who has the ability to copy his opponents by touching them with the shard in his hand. 
seconds and becomes 7-3 Moro. Mirus decides Goku needs a push, a way back into the door of mastery. Mirus attacks Moro and destroys the shards in his hand, but not before Moro is able to grab Mirus' neck and copies his abilities. Oh. Mirus Wait, no, this is... This is not good. What do you mean he just touched him and got his power? Yo, Zephyr made a video of Goku versus Moro if you want to watch it. Okay, I will watch it. I have to, because now, chat, again, I'm hard. Like, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. But not before Moro is able to grab Mirus' neck and copies his abilities. Mirus punches the final shard in Moro's head. Nice! But since angels are not allowed to fight in mortal affairs, this is the end. Oh, Mirus ooh. looks back at the hope of the universe, his friend and tells Goku that he's come to love this galaxy, this universe full of excitement. Please, protect it all. Mirus is- He's the new angel, chat. I told y'all. Cause bro, if regular goofy doofy all humans can't keep up with him, no, can't keep up with his movements base form, that's it, he done transcended humanity. He's the new angel now. He's gonna take the place of Wiss's brother. I'm, I'm chatting, I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's cool. Is erased from existence and Goku stands there as his friend disintegrates before his eyes. But that's what he needed to achieve this. Goku erupts with energy and it's so fierce that it can be felt by everyone on the battlefield. I know, I know, he's not an angel, I know. Miles away, but then it stops. Silence. Standing in the eye of the hurricane is perfection. And now we see the technique of the angels in its true angelic light. Perfected Ultra Instinct Goku. Perfected UI Goku is so powerful that he's able to completely body what? Moro, blitzing him and throwing him across the battlefield. Both his offensive and defensive side are fighting in complete and utter unison as every attack and every block happens on instinct. The gap in strength between Goku and Moro is so great that even though Goku says Moro is the strongest opponent he's ever faced and even gives him a sensu bean to recharge his power, what? Moro attacks Goku and shatters his arm on his chest. What? Moro gains the power of Mirus the angel and becomes angelic Moro with him being able What the hell is going on? Wait. Okay, so the first time he touched it, he copied his attacks? No, he copied his abilities? And now he actually became... When this new super comes out, it's going to be crazy. Oh, no, I know. Oh, trust. I'm about to. Ooh. So he actually now became an angel. Wait, hold on. Run that. Run that by me again. Charges power. Moro attacks Goku and shatters his arm on his chest. That's tough. Moro gains the power of Mirus the angel and becomes angelic Moro with him being able to just match Ultra Instinct Goku's power. What? However, the power above the gods is too much for him to handle and he has to infuse himself with the entire planet, what? detonating the entire galaxy. <gasps> He's going to wait chat that's actual aura <laughs> well you talk about aura for goku or aura for uh moro bro's pulling a cell yeah he about to devour the galaxy um and beyond that his swollen energy will detonate possibly obliterating the entire galaxy yeah that cell 2.0 right there see goku is able to defeat moro using an ultra instinct susano and once again becomes the only mortal in existence what? to have mastered ultra instinct later on goku ends up fighting against the strongest in the universe the survivor granola with oh granola yeah making i've seen stuff about this why is granola so strong he's like he looks like a goofy you're you're the wish granting dragon uh state your wish if it is within my power your single wish is my command yo and that dragon looks celestial and and fire he's literally cell 2.0 for a, uh he absorbs people okay use the dragon balls to make him the strongest that's boring bro why don't you train granola granola bar goofy the wish to the namekian dragon balls to become the strongest in the universe with goku at this point getting so good at ultra instinct that he's able to use it in his other forms including his base form goku what? fights against granola and shows that he can access mastered ultra instinct at will however an even greater enemy has arised becoming the strongest in the universe gas gas is so powerful that he's oh. able to take on goku and vegeta oh wait he just blue balled me when he said a new a new somebody joined to become the strongest, I thought he was gonna say Vegeta. 
<laughs> he said gas. Chat, who was gas? So yeah, he used the Dragon Balls to make him the strongest with only three years left to live. Me personally, I'm not doing that. Entire lifespan, lifespan gone? Yeah. Just to be the strongest? Couldn't be me. However, an even greater enemy has arised, becoming the strongest in the universe, Gas. Gas is so powerful that he's able to take on Goku and Vegeta at the exact same time. And Goku figures out that the only way to match Gas's power Whoa. is to put emotion back into his fighting. Goku is able to unlock a what? new version, his own version of Ultra Instinct, true Ultra Instinct Goku. In this what? form, Goku is able to be slightly stronger than the strongest in the universe and shows once again that this saiyan has no limits looking back go oh what is the, what is what is oh my god i'm getting too excited now huh truly perfected bastard ultra instinct goku right so he said i gotta put some emotion into ultra instinct because it was all about being calm so what he just now gets angry like he starts yelling and all that well yo this is actually pretty awesome bro i ain't gonna lie honestly i don't really get true ultra instinct okay it's completely against what UI is. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's his own version. I guess that's the real, true, sane version of it. Because that's all, you know, Vegeta and Goku do all the time. It's just yell. Yell and fight. Yell and fight. Yell and fight. Get angry. Get angry. Uh, lose battles. Get stronger. So, yeah. They explain it later? Okay, yeah. I'm sure and they would, yeah. A new version. His own version of Ultra Instinct true ultra instinct goku fire in this form goku's able to be slightly stronger than the strongest in the universe and shows once again that this saiyan has no limits Ooh. looking back goku has come a long way since his battle with the god of destruction and now possesses power that's greater than the gods themselves that's the lowest wow. class warrior to the highest tier god the angel that was born on earth the saiyan Son Goku. Oof. What's up, guys? It's Divine. If you guys enjoyed this video, me angel born on Earth, man. Did you guys like and subscribe? It's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, official Divine. Yeah, your video was cool. Nice edits, bars, whatever, bro. Okay, Divine never disappoints. Exactly. You're welcome. I dropped a like, man. All it took was Frieza to turn black to overcome that huge power gap. Oh yeah, where's where's a where's Frieza at? <laughs> it, it took Frieza to turn black. Where, uh, where is Frieza in this story? Is he like, you know, in terms of like villain wise, where does he fall under? Or is this after this part? Because uh, Master Dolter is Whis's version of UI, who specifically told Goku to try to find his own version of UI and only use uh, MUI for last resorts. Mm. Frieza came in and murked gas with one shot. I don't like that. I don't like that, bro. Like to increase the power scaling. Okay, Jiren. Again, Jiren. We found out about we found out about Jiren because he's from another universe. So technically, well, I don't even know what I'm gonna say, bro. I'm not even a manga reader, so I'm a, I'm gonna just shut up. But I'll say it anyways, right? So Jiren was already the strongest. We saw Goku work towards that. Cool. Moro was sealed from 10 million years ago, and we saw him kind of go up in strength by touching the other angel or something like that and then we have this one dude i think this is where i don't like it we had that one dude just wish to become the strongest kind of you know what i'm saying kind of defeating the purpose of becoming strong in a way i don't know i don't like that but whatever then gas but where did gas come from twin like gas just comes out of nowhere he's all of a sudden the strongest and then all frieza had to do was dead ass just turn black I hope they, they 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 talk about that, like where he got his powers from, because you know what I'm saying? Frieza stated that he found his own hyperbolic time chamber and trained for 10 years. Jesus. His father made a wish that his son would be the strongest. The way this guy talked and used specific wording about Goku's power made it so freaking epic. Bro, I know, right? That's what Divine does, bro. It makes everything so so like damn. 